One of our most popular shows focused around people with life crippling phobias. And boy, when it comes to phobias, we have seen it all. From the fear of pickles, fear of peaches, fear of cotton, fear of tinfoil. But sometimes, you know, the fears were more irrational than that, like this woman, Terrell. See, Terrell was terrified of dogs. Didn't matter whether it was a Great Dane or a Chihuahua. Terrell couldn't even look at one. Watch. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If it's a dog, it's a dog. No. It I'm... doesn't matter if it's the littlest Chihuahua or a big Great Dane. Doesn't matter. One day when Terrell was with her three-year-old son, she was confronted by a dog and believed the dog was going to attack her. At that point, she just left her three-year-old on the sidewalk, unprotected. That's it's not nothing the... I can do. I, I'm, I'm... It's nothing I can do. When I see a dog, I run. If my kids can't keep up in it, that's that I'm going to show you a picture of a dog. There it is. It's a picture. It's just a picture. Is he not in one of those chairs? No, he's not in one of those chairs. <laughs> Sit down. All I know is I've been afraid of dogs all my life. OK, Terrell, sit right there. Sit right well. <laughs> oh, no, baby. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Terrell. Terrell, wait a minute. It was just a little chihuahua. We go, say no problem. Oh, it's a no tokyo problem. set. Oh, it's stop. No, no problem. problem. Stop. Problem. Stop it. Okay, okay, I can't do it. I don't think I can do it. Has Terrell changed her attitude towards dogs? We're gonna find out. Just a little bit. Did you ever think you could do that? No. Oh, boy. Wow. Our phobia fixer, uh, Gary Cox, did a good job with Terrell. But the question is, did it last? 20 years later, did it last? Coming to us live from her hometown of Spartanburg, South Carolina, is Terrell. Nice to hey, see you, Gary. Terrell. Good to, good see, to you. see you too. 20 years later, I yes. Know. How are you? Look at you. You still have that big <laughs> smile. Yes, I do. <laughs> Except when you're around dogs. Anyway, uh, are exactly. you still running away from them or not? At this point, um, I'm a little bit fluffier than I was when I came to the show, so I definitely can't run. So <sighs> if I see a dog that I think that may attack me or something, um, I'm probably screaming faint. Right. But you kind of overcame your fear a little bit, didn't you? Yes, I did. Um, I now understand from y'all helping me that um, dogs are not always out to harm you. Um, that dogs smell fear, and they know when you're fearful of them. Right. I also um, had the opportunity to sleep at my son's home, who has two pit bulls. So I was able to sleep at his home. Wow. I'm able to well, walk that, by dogs That's now, so. That's impressive that you're able to sleep around pit bulls. And, and uh, I think your mother-in-law has dogs, right? My mother-in-law has a little dog named Rue. Rue is kind of hyper. We like to jump and jump on you and play and stuff, and Toretto like to jump and play. So, um, <laughs> well, you look when great. When I go around Rue, yeah, they have to hold them. Yeah, well, thank you. You look great too. Good. I'm so happy you joined us today. Good to see you. Thank Terrell. you. All you right. too, Mark. All right, now, now, this next guest, Jennifer, appeared in the same phobia episode as Terrell. But, but Jennifer's fear was spiders. I, I can understand that. I know a lot of people don't like spiders. But she was so afraid of spiders, she was unable to do the laundry in fear of one crawling out of the washing machine. Watch. Can I tell you why I'm here? What, what made me decide that I have to do this is, is the confrontation with the spider that um, scared my two-year-old so bad that he was screaming. And the fact that I couldn't pick my baby up because I, I was dancing around the living room crying. And because I couldn't go into my kitchen for like two days because there was a spider that dropped out of my laundry. So you were paralyzed. You couldn't kill the spider. He'd never seen you like this. He'd seen me react before, but this was... And then your husband got... Spider. After a spider jumped out of the laundry while I was doing it, that was that incident. I, I couldn't even pick up clothes So off now he does it. You would never go into a campground, would you? Huh? <laughs> Not anymore. Nothing. Jennifer, I'm going to bring a spider out here. 
Okay. Oh boy. No, can, can she just stand? No, no. No, no. Why? Why? What's no, the matter? No. What's the matter, Jennifer? Oh no, Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. It's not out here, Jennifer. It's not out here. All right. It's it's not out here. Okay. Where is it? I want to know where it is. It's on top of the ramp. Okay. Come on, back up here. Bring it on down here. No, no, no. Just look at it. Right there. There it is. No. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Take it away. Now take it away. Okay, Jim. All right. Okay. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Let's walk back up here. It's gone. It's not here anymore. It's not here anymore. We're, it's, we're going up here. It's not here. In your wildest dreams, would you ever imagine that you'd be this close to a tarantula? Is she making progress? Yes or no? Did it work? We're going to find out. Bring out. Talk about incredible change. Watch this. Oh, wow. wow. Hey, Maury, it's Jen. I just wanted to say thank you for helping me get over my irrational fear of spiders. 20 years ago, I couldn't even do my laundry without fear of a spider coming and crawling out at me. At that time, it was ruining my life. I couldn't do normal things, and it was even impacting my kids' lives. On that show, I was able to confront my fear head first, and crazy enough, it actually worked. By the end of that day, I actually had a tarantula in my hands and even crawling all over me. It was literally one of the biggest spiders I've ever seen in my life. Now I live a completely normal life, and I even had a destination wedding outside. Spiders were there and they didn't even bother me. Thank you, Maury, for having me on your show. It was an experience I'll never forget. And I'm so grateful. Bye. You are not the father. <laughs>